Glory 14 stiže u Hrvatsku metropolu. Mirko Krokap Filipović protiv Remija Bonjaskog. Trostruki K1 šampion u dugo iščekivanom revanšu protiv Hrvatske legende. Neviđeni borilački spektakl Glory 14 Zagreb, 8. ožujka. Ulaznica u sustavu Eventim. Co-producer of the Zagreb Show and Fight Channel representative Mr. Orsa Zovko. Mr. Zovko, welcome. Thank you. Kickboxing superstar, flying gentleman, Mr. Remy Bonjanski. Remy, nice to have you here again. Thank you very much. His opponent, Croatian fighting icon, Mirko Krokap Filipovic. Mirko, nice to have you here with us. Thank you very much. Two of the Dutch fighters who will face Croatian opponents, Mr. Michael Dut and Mr. Jafar Vilnis. And their opponents, Croatian favorites, Mr. Igor Jurkovic and Mladen Breslov. Thank you guys for coming. Now I will give introduction word to Mr. Andrew Vitaker. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Marco. Uh, from Glory Sports International, uh, thank you for the great welcome we received uh, from the city uh, of Zagreb. We are delighted to be here for Glory 14 uh, this Saturday night at Arena Zagreb. Uh, I think we're all looking forward to a spectacular sporting event. Uh, very much like to thank uh, a number of our partners. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Orsat Zovko uh, and Fight Channel for being our partner in the marketplace. Um, it's been a pleasure to work with both he and his team and uh, we look forward to the event very much on Saturday night and to uh, showing what Glory can do uh, to uh, uh, Zagreb and of course Croatia. Uh, additionally, we'd like to thank uh, Beast, uh, our one of our sponsors, uh, Leone Gloves, uh, Headblade, uh, who have supported Glory uh, throughout the world on television. And we're delighted, of course, uh, that they're still partnering with us uh, for this show here in, uh, in Zagreb. And with that, I'm going to pass it back to, uh, to Marco. Thank you, Mr. Vitaker. Thank you, Mr. Vitaker. Now, Mr. Zoko, what's changed since the first press conference? I believe that preparations for the event are almost finished. Thank you, Mr. Zoko. Yeah, more or less everything is finished. We are completely ready for Saturday night. Uh, I must say once again that uh, it's my great honor to, to, to be part of, uh, of a Glory uh, family and uh, we did our best in the last couple of weeks. Uh, promotion was great. Uh, everything is set up for Saturday night and I'm really, I cannot wait to, to see the start of the event. Thank you, Mr. Zovko. Now we are moving to Remy Bonjanski. Remy, of course, nice to have you here with us. Yesterday on the airport, you announced that this will probably be your last fight. How did the preparations went and uh, go? And uh, are you satisfied with everything uh, in the preparations period? Thank you. Yeah, in the preparation period, uh, everything went fine. Uh, we had a very good training period and lots of sparring. Uh, I had a good workout with, uh, with my trainer, Ivan. And look, just looking forward to my uh, to my last fight because I've been doing this for 20 years now, and sometimes you have to uh, um, thinking about the future. I mean, I mean, my future is not right now. I believe as a fighter, so I've done a lot. I've win uh, a lot of titles, beat up a lot of guys, and I believe this is, uh, is going to be my last fight. Thank you, Remy. I believe that there will be more questions for you later. Uh, of course, his opponent, Mirko Krokap. Mirko, uh, we were following your preparations and I know that you had some hard training and hard sparring. Did you have any problems and what do you expect on uh, Saturday evening? Thank you. I will speak Croatian. I will speak Croatian as we have simultaneous translation. The preparation period was very tough. This was the toughest preparation in my career. I really, it took a lot of effort for me. Thank you, my team. Thank you, sparring partners. And thank you very much, you, my uh, friend, my Mladen Brestovic. We had really tough sparrings and we really were the, the, the really uh, pouring blood. And now, uh, as Remy said, this is his last fight. And I'm very flattered that I will be the person he will have his last fight with. His career is something that leads us to believe that he's nothing less but an icon. He was winning everyone, and I am very happy and honored to be his opponent on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you, Mirko. I believe there will be a lot of questions from you. Michael, you already fought in Zagreb. Uh, what are your impressions from the first fight? I know that you won. 
uh, and what are your, of course, expectations for Saturday night? Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'm happy to be here. I want to thank Glory and everybody. Um, yeah, the last time, uh, Croatia, the crowd was amazing. Uh, yeah, everything was good. Uh, I won the fight, and I'm, I'm expected to win again uh, Saturday evening. Thank you, Mr. Dutt. Also from Netherlands, Mr. Jafar Wilnis, who also already fought in arena. Jafar, I know that uh, you don't have such a good memories about your first fight because you lost. Does it bother you and do you think about this lose? Thank you. No, uh, of course it didn't bother me because uh, every fight is, uh, uh, yeah, is, is difficult. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And uh, this time I prepared very well and uh, we're going for the win. Thank you, Mr. Wilnis. Istvan Warrior, uh, to my right, uh, Mr. Igor Jurkovic. Igor, you're coming after a loss in New York, but fighting in arena in front of your own crowd is definitely a multi more for you. Can you please uh, give us a few thoughts? Thank you. I will speak in Croatian as we have simultaneous translation. I'm very happy that I have the chance to fight in Zagreb in front of our audience, our domestic people. This is going to be a spectacle and my expectations are to win, of course. I believe I will uh, provide our audience a good uh, fight and I'm definitely so honored to be able to fight uh, next to Mirko and this is a dream come true uh, for me and for every other fighter. Mr. Mladen Bresovac who will he, he have his uh, glory debut. Mladen, what uh, do you know about Jafar and what do you expect? Thank you. Uh, welcome everyone. As Igor said, I'm very, very happy to have this chance to uh, be with Glory. This is a dream come true. As far as Jafar, he's an excellent fighter. He's a top-notch fighter. He came here prepared, but I'm prepared. Both of us do have a plan. We will implement this plan in the ring and we will try to make this a spectacular fight. Uh, now we are moving to your questions. Who is going to be first, Mr. Jay Komarovic? Some second microphone. Mirko mentioned that the sparrings were very difficult, and he mentioned some blood. And I have an inside information that the sparring partner was uh, dipped in his blood, and he was dipped in his own blood. So, did you get? Uh, I didn't understand this question that well, but uh, yes, the sparrings were tough. We w both had blood on us, but uh, both our own blood. Uh, yes, he did have some blood, and I did have some blood. So it was not uh, one person who was suffering alone. It was very difficult. We had hematomas. We had the physiotherapist coming in every night. And this is just a part of this job. This You are you look confused. You look very confused. No, I'm not confused. This is behind me. I had some injuries, but this is just part of our job. This happens. And uh, sometimes when someone hits you uh, with uh, the foot, it's something that's inevitable that you will have to have a physiotherapist and you have to recover. And uh, But this is just a normal part of our life, our career. I uh, survived and I'm very much ready for Saturday. This was just a joke. I was provoking you. Don't do that, please, Mavroic. Thank you. On, please, next question. Mr. Bright. <laughs> you were here, it was two months ago, and you said that this fight could decide uh, whether you continue your career or not, but this time you are coming uh, very sure that this is the last the last fight for you. So what's happened in meantime that you changed a little bit uh, your mind? Yeah. Um, well, um, I've been thinking a lot um, about when my last fight is going to be, and the last time I was here, I was... Um, I was thinking about stopping or thinking about con continuing, but I believe I've I've already building up a, a good career behind uh, behind the scenes, and um, I'm doing my best in that. And I believe that there is a moment that you fight against one of the strongest fighters in the world, and uh, of course, Miracle is is uh, 
I had my first fight against uh, him in the in, in the K1, and now it's me, it's going to be my last fight in, in in glory. So it's I think it's the perfect moment to uh, to put an end uh, to my career. Mr. Bonyaski, what are your plans after the fight? Uh, maybe get rid of the headache and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, taking a rest, taking a, a long vacation, but uh, building up my academy, uh, that is one of my biggest uh, plans in, in the future. I have a wonderful academy now, and we're um, looking forward to, uh, to open up a second academy in Holland and maybe continue in opening some more academies. But um, I'm doing in Holland a lot of, uh, uh, we're trying to do a lot for TV, so TV programs. So um, I'm 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 very busy. Yeah. So uh, you're retiring. Is it this um, kind of a, of a relief or a stress that you have to you know do this uh, special fight at the end of your career? Well, if you if you if you retire, um, you could choose, of course, um, a weak opponent and then beat him up and say I've retired but as a fighter as as a as a, as a champion I don't wanna have my last fight uh, against uh, one of the cookies I just want to fight against a strong opponent even if I lose uh, I can say I've lost against one of the strongest fighters so I don't wanna I wanna I don't wanna say after this that I fought against uh, a, a weak opponent Mirko, evo, uh... Mirko, you said that you heard only now that this is the last fight for Remy. How do you feel now? What's the feeling? Are you honored? How do I feel? I'm very happy that I will have this honor to fight him as his last fight. He is one of the biggest names ever in this sport, and I'm so happy that he chose me to be his opponent, to finish his career with the fight with me. I don't know what else to say about that. I really appreciate what he did in this sport. I really think that he's a great person, and above all, he's a gentleman. Therefore, I believe that this is a big deal for me, for my career as well, and I believe we will have a great fight. Regardless of the winner, we will have a spectacle, a show for the audience, and that's the point, and that's what is we are here about. Mirko, can you... We are following Croatia. A lot of us are following this sport, but maybe not uh, the wide audience. We don't know really about glory. Uh, they say that glory is maybe like the Champions League in so soccer. I wouldn't do these parallels. I wouldn't say that it's maybe. But Glory is uh, the strongest organization in kickboxing. It's uh, the leader in this field. And uh, Glory in the world of kickboxing is uh, the top-notch uh, organization which collects the best fighters and do the, does the best job. Maybe I'm not the most competent person to talk about this, but this is the general knowledge of glory. And being in glory is something very prestigious, and it's a dream come true for every kickboxer. And also for ultimate fighters, uh, the, we all wish to be inside glory and fight within glory. A question from Mirko. Obviously, a special moment for you fighting in your hometown, Zagreb. Do you put extra pressure on yourself, uh, being in front of your hometown fans, on you know back on the world stage here? Glory is the biggest stage for kickboxing right now. Uh, tough opponent against Remy. Do you put extra pressure on yourself, being in front of your hometown fans? Uh, 